Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Embrace Competition. Oh, I remember when I was just a little, little boy. A little, little boy growing up. I used to stray away from competition. If this kid was better at the sport, I ain't want to play him. If this kid was better at, at certain or things or he sell at certain things, I ain't want to fuck with him. Because I'm like, ah, nah, nah, that's too much competition. Growing up and then, then going to middle school and high school, I had to snap up out of it. I learned that in high school when it comes to fighting, man. Believe it or not, because I was always the little kid in high school. I was always the shorter, little, small kid in high school. And I remember sometimes I used to just think, oh, he's bigger. Let me not fight him. He's bigger. Let me not challenge him. I had to stop that shit, man. I had to stop that shit because I wanted the bitches. I said I wanted the bitches. So because I wanted the bitches, I had to embrace competition. I couldn't shy away from competition, even if it meant me losing in the process. I remember a few times I lost a fight in high school to a bigger kid. Motherfucker whooped my ass. That motherfucker whooped my ass. I ain't getting knocked the fuck out, but he whooped my ass. But you see, what I got out of it, I got that respect, not only from him, but from others. Because I was the motherfucker that wasn't afraid to go up against the big motherfuckers. I was the motherfucker that would take on a challenge from a bigger motherfucker. Fuck that. You think you could whoop my ass? Nigga, let's go. Believe it or not, a lot of motherfuckers thought I was crazy. When I stood up to these motherfuckers, Motherfuckers, they thought I was a crazy motherfucker. They said this motherfucker gotta be crazy standing up to me like this. This motherfucker gotta be crazy challenging me like this. And did you know what happened? For me being brave, standing up to these dudes, it made them say, you know what? Nah, I ain't fucking with that motherfucker. Because even though he's smaller than me, if this motherfucker whoop my ass, that would look bad on me. See, I ain't had nothing to lose. See, when a motherfucker challenged me and he is of higher status, I don't got nothing to lose. Win or lose, I still come up. Win or lose is still a victory for me. Because if I lost, I still get respect from others. I ain't to be fucked with. And if I win, I get that win and respect. It was always a win-win situation for me. But see, a lot of you motherfuckers, you scared of competition. You know it's competition over there, so you don't want to fuck with it. You know it's competition around the corner, so you don't want to fuck with that. You don't want to go over there, but you got to understand something. Good competition brings the best out of us. It's through good competition where we become the greatest version of ourselves. Because if we going against somebody who excels in a certain category, we got to be prepared for that motherfucker. We got to get prepared for that motherfucker. Going up, going up against people that are better than you will make you better. Just like me in high school, going up against niggas who was 
bigger than me made me better. Made me tougher. Made me fearless. Made me respected amongst my peers. Because I did shit them niggas never would do. Me going up against competition gained me friends. After I got my ass whipped by that bigger kid. No, true story. After I got my ass whooped by that bigger kid. Don't you know all the other kids just trying to hang out with me? Yo, man, I saw you fought that kid, man. You got heart, yo. Damn, I saw how you hit him, yo. You got heart, yo. Niggas ain't fuck with me. Niggas, because niggas knew if they fuck with me, they had to pay a consequence. No matter how big you was. No matter what crew you, no matter what crew you roll with, nigga. I was coming for your ass, sucker. I was a nigga to be fucked with. Because I wasn't afraid of competition. Let's go. Even in sports, I played football. Got my ass ran the fuck over trying to tackle a nigga. Nigga ran me the fuck off. Boom, back up, nigga. But see, I learned from that. I learned from that. See, what you niggas need to do is learn from your losses. I took my loss like a boss and I learned from that shit. How the fuck you think you're going to be great going up against motherfuckers lesser than you? How the fuck you think you're going to get anywhere going up against motherfuckers that couldn't even tie your shoe, nigga? That's a weak mindset. I want to conquer motherfuckers greater than me. I want to conquer motherfuckers bigger than me. I want to conquer motherfuckers smarter than me. Embracing competition will plummet you to the next level. Embracing competition will plummet you to the next level. See, 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 I hear you motherfuckers saying, I hear you motherfuckers saying you want to change in life. I hear you motherfuckers saying you want to upgrade your life, but you fear for a competition. You ain't going to upgrade your life. Because every time the universe want to promote you, they're going to put an obstacle in front of you. I don't think, I don't think y'all hear that. Y'all hear that. When the universe wants to promote you, they will put an obstacle in front of you. The universe ain't gonna just say, here, nigga. But see, a lot of you motherfuckers ain't gonna get that promotion. You know why? Because you too busy in your comfort zone. You too busy living in your comfort zone. So when the universe put an obstacle in front of you, instead of you living up, embracing the competition, embracing that, you shy away like a little bitch. And you stay in your comfort zone. A lot of you motherfuckers right now listening are in your motherfucking comfort zone. You know where you at right now is not where you want to be. But where you at right now is where you comfortable at. That's the problem with you bitch ass motherfuckers. You don't embrace competition because you niggas are in a comfortable environment. And that's why you niggas ain't going to get promoted, nigga. Pick your shit the fuck up, nigga. I know niggas still living in the same place they've been living in for 10 goddamn years. Complaining, 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 but not doing shit about it. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers giving them opportunity after opportunity to say, hey, you can do this, you can do this, you can do that. they like, nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I want it, but I'm okay staying here. Your comfort zone is not doing you good. Your comfort zone is doing you bad than good, man. Get out your comfort zone. Get out your comfort zone. Therefore, when you get out your comfort zone, you're going to experience new things in life. You're going to experience it a motherfucking promotion. You can't get to where you want to get to doing the same bullshit. So in closing, nigga, embrace competition, man. Embrace that shit. Love that shit, man. 
straight up. No bullshit. I'm glad I did, man. You're not going to regret it, yo. You're not going to regret embracing that competition, man. Because when you embrace that competition, win or lose, you want to become better. You want to always be promoting yourself, promoting yourself, promoting yourself. When you keep having competition after competition after competition. Because embracing competition makes you a battle-tested motherfucker. See, that's the thing. You niggas ain't battle-tested. You niggas ain't battle-tested, man. That's why when the obstacle comes in front of you, you niggas act like bitches because you ain't battle-tested, nigga. You suckers. You niggas never been through no shit. That's why you can't give nobody no goddamn advice, sucker. So you got two options. Embrace competition and promote yourself and promote your life to the next level. Or embrace being comfortable and stay where the fuck you at. And that was today's episode of Like uh, Comment, Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.